What's up, YouTube? Charmin Xsoft here, coming at you guys with a brand new Star Wars Battlefront video. And today, we're going to be talking about the newest DLC information that has just kind of hit the wires here. Now, there's a lot of talk going around, and it's particularly focused on a particular tweet that went out from NinjaChris404 on Twitter, and he actually asked EA Dice Star Wars, will Episode 7 be included in any of the DLC? And they responded to him with, our team is focusing on the original trilogy for this release of Star Wars Battlefront. So this right here pretty much just kind of blows everybody's mind, especially mine. I mean, I did make a video telling you guys of potential possible DLCs. Again, none of it was confirmed, like I had said. But I myself am still trying to figure out how they can go focus completely on episodes 4 through 6 when Battle of Jakku never existed in 4 through 6. On top of that, I've never seen a Sullus map in 4 through 6, or a Sullus world for that example in 4 through 6 at all. So we're kind of already off the, uh, the, the the rocker there for this whole you know original trilogy part here. So it's kind of blowing my mind right here at the same time. I know that they said they wanted to focus on the original trilogy before the game was released, but when it comes to DLC, this one right here is kind of confusing. Now, it also does make sense, you know, I got a lot of this information from the uh, uh, Game Informer article, and I'll be linking it for you guys below, but what they say in there is that it also makes sense that they would possibly wait for an Episode 7 DLC and basically maybe use it in, say, Battlefront 2 because they can go ahead and sell a whole game within that whole genre and time period, and yeah, I can see how that can make some sense, but still, I mean, not bringing Clone Wars or something else into this is kind of mind-blowing. Staying inside the original focus of the original trilogy, I think, is kind of hard. I mean, you can bring in some new maps and whatnot, like, say, Yavin 4, Cloud City, Dagobah, Death Star, all of these would be great additions and whatnot, and I have no problem with that, but when it comes to what the Season Pass states, it says that there's going to be four more heroes and villains for you to fight against so again it says four more heroes and villains it doesn't say that there's four more hero characters you get what i'm saying so that should be with the way it's worded it should be eight new characters in my opinion which would mean a new hero and a new villain for every single dlc pack since there's four of them also another reason that backs that up is because if you brought in one new character you would completely unbalance heroes versus villains so you would have to bring in a new hero and a new villain for every DLC in order to make that balance. So, the easy part is actually figuring out what heroes you could actually bring for, you know, the Republic sides, you know, so your actual rebels, your heroes, and that would be, in my opinion, Lando Calrissian, Ben Kenobi, Chewbacca, and Yoda. But on the Imperial side, your villain characters, that's a hard one to actually do between episodes four through six. So I ask you guys, I mean, let me know some of the villains you think that could be brought in there because I really scratched my head for a long time trying to figure this out. And what I've come up with is possibly Greedo, Grand Moff Tarkin, Jabba the Hutt, and maybe Sand People? And even still, Jabba the Hutt, that's far-fetched, man. I can't see how you can bring him into a villain character in this game and actually make this dude move around and fight. This is just blowing my mind. Anyway, guys, this here still is not even actually confirmed. I mean, it could be a computer-generated response. Nobody really knows. But you can bet I will stay up-to-date with this and keep you guys informed as soon as I know more information about it. Game Informer also says it themselves that, you know, while the wording of the statement isn't quite final, it does seem like the door is probably being shut on the new DLC for the movie, okay? So again, they're even saying that the statement doesn't seem quite final, you know what I'm saying? It could be a computer-generated response. Nobody really knows, and it is kind of throwing everybody off, and I just hope that they can bring something more than just the original trilogy. Although the original, the original trilogy is awesome, I think it'd be great to see more content from that. Like I was saying, like the Death Star, for example, that would be awesome, you know what I'm saying? But I really just am kind of blowing my mind as to where the new heroes and villains are going to come from because I am at such a loss right here. Anyway, guys, though, I want to know what you guys think. Is this a good idea? Do you think this is a good move, or do you really think they should have went along the lines of, say, the new movies, Episode 7, you know, uh, new Clone War stuff? And let me know what you guys think the new potential heroes and villains are if, they, in fact, they do stay within the original trilogy, which I'm still confused on how they can do that, especially since they've already brought the Battle of Jakku and even Sullust into the game. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it helps you out. And if it does, please feel free to go ahead and slap that like button down below, and don't forget to subscribe to join the Charminati today. And you guys are more than welcome to go ahead and comment below and follow me on my Twitter to stay up to date with all my YouTube videos. I'm Charmin Xoft, and as always, thanks for watching, and y'all come back now, you hear?